Welcome back to Life and Take Gaming, and I hope you subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to Life and Take Gaming. It's your first time on the channel. I'm Tay. Welcome. Today, you guys, we're going through my PlayStation Portable Collection. You guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. When you're going through a, a collection, it's kind of personal, you know? So, PSP was one of my favorites growing up. I loved it. It's way ahead of its time. This is the PlayStation Portable 1000. See how it's a little bit thicker? You know, it has that cool click through the device right here on open. Your UMD would pop out. It's Universal Media Disc. So this was Sony little dedicated little mini discs, whatever. I love them. You just pop them in, boom, pop it in, good to go. So it was a thicker device. This was the 1000. So this was the first, 2005, I believe it came in March, was the first model. Has this little analog stick there, very clicky. Back in the day when you had this in your hand, Thought you were the man. <laughs> the 2000 model. You know, it's a little bit bigger, thinner, better battery life, screen's a little bit brighter, more knit, you know? But this silver, this was a Gran Turismo model, the 2000. They, they moved a the little switch here. So when I pop it, it just pops together. You have to push no button, place the UMD inside, they still did that. Cool. Cool revision, slimmer, better battery. Kind of like what iPhone does a little bit. Same kind of look because the look, this form factor is great in handhelds. This right here, it's like the, kind of like a bigger GBA. So it feels very really comfortable with all type of hands. PSP Go. So it's a little smaller model. Slides up, so you have a screen right here and then you have your little switches and everything in there. This one didn't have UMD, it was just like digital only. You know, Sony's ahead of their time because that's what the world's trying to do now and it was pretty sweet. I have this one playing PS1 um, and a whole bunch of other retro games and stuff like it. We'll talk about it in another video, but yeah, this was the PSP Go. The 3000 model, which looks like exactly like the one, but way thinner, way better battery, better screen, Bluetooth, all that. Well, I don't know about Bluetooth. Bluetooth. That might be lying. That's the Vita. You know, I should have showed the Vita in this, but just because it was called PS Vita and not PSP, I didn't do it. Leave a comment below if you want to see my PS Vita collection though, because I have a cool little library with that as well. But yeah, with, this is PSP. So this is the 3000. This is the last model they made. I don't really know the real revisions from the 2000, 3000. I'm thinking it's some onboard gigabytes or something like that. Um, better screen, better battery. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter as well, but they look kind of the same to me, but there was some changes. I'll leave probably like a picture up, pictures up with like the actual like specs difference if there is a huge difference i'll list it so those are the psps right here these three and the psp go psp go tell me if not this is a, they had a sony ericsson they call it the playstation phone so it slides up just like the psp go it came out a little bit before it has the playstation little buttons and everything on it i have this emulated so i can run like crash bandicoot chrono trigger stuff like that on there and it just runs pretty seamless like I think this is Chrono Trigger yeah Chrono Trigger on there and I feel like they really bit that idea and just made it a hand dedicated handle device instead of just a phone because a lot of people didn't like the phone at the time but it does have the back triggers all the PlayStation keys stuff like that Sony Xperia so if you really want to get into it though you guys I got one all the way from Europe the PSP Street so this was like the 3 series revised but it was only in Europe they made it more rugged, removed the uh, removed the wireless capability, so just straight gaming. See, it's a little bit thicker now than the 3000, but it had way more juice, pro stick in there. The, is, the back, instead of pushing something, it does that same opening, but their entire back opens, which is pretty dope. And you slide your UMD in there, and that is how the PSP Street goes. You guys, these are all the variations that came out in the PSP. There's a whole bunch of colors and stuff like that. I didn't collect all those. But those are the consoles that I have. I probably have more in different colors and stuff like that. But I just want to show you one, two, three, go, and the street. So now let's go into the games I've collected over here. The good stuff. My little collection, I, it's curated. So it's like stuff I like to play and stuff I want to play. So yeah, so let's go into that. All right, well, obviously, you know, I'm a DBZ guy. So Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. Dragon Ball Z, Shin Budokai, Another Road, and then Shin Budokai 1. So this was like the sequel. These are really good games. This was a really good game for the PSP for Dragon Ball Z. It's like over $100 or something now. This is a good title. These are my first three. 
PSP games. And for PSP, I it's a very niche collecting item, so I make sure I get all of them complete in box. So they all have to have the manuals and stuff like that in them. As you can see, you don't play play when it comes to PSP. The collection, my collection is not that big, so I make sure when I do pull the trigger on them that they're complete in box. It's not even about value for me, it's just like something I really enjoyed and loved growing up, so it's like just being true to myself. Alright, so after the Dragon Balls, you know, I got Mega Man powered up, solid title, Power Stone Collection. I had it on Dreamcast, but this is just as good. It has both of them in it, and I can play it in the palm of my hand or on my Steam Deck. Uh, Kingdom of Paradise, great, like, fighting game. I don't know what to compare it to, but it was pretty fun. And to be honest, this was more of a, like, a hype piece thing. I just Googled, like, top 10 PSP games and then look for some of them if I can get a bit deal to try them out. And hey, lo and behold, it was pretty good. Iron Man, because you know, rest in peace to Tony Stark. <laughs> Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. The Genesis Collection, so I don't have to plug that joint in anymore. I just played on the PSP. Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. This one has God of War in there. You guys are tripping if you never played this one. I'll put up some footage right here. It was the best in E3. I can't remember what year it was, but it was one of the top games in the E3 of that year. So Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, try it out. Everybody just knows two because the link was in it, but that one's also good. We got Star Ocean First Departure, sweet game. Give me Tales of the Rise vibes. Star Ocean Second Evolution, Amazing Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I got this one for $3, it's actually still sealed, which is pretty cool, it has a little blister thing on the top. Kept it still. I don't, I don't even know if it's a good game. I haven't played it, but I'm sure I can emulate it. I'm just going to keep it sealed just because I don't really have that much PSP games like that. Crisis Core Final Fantasy. They just remade it on Switch and PS5. PS5 is the best way to play it. If you haven't experienced it yet, do it up. Then we have the Cydia um, 12 and then the Cydia and then Final Fantasy Tactics The War of the Lions. These are like my little Final Fantasy type of thing. So you guys have Final Fantasy 4, the complete collection. It comes with the after years on there. This is the best way to play Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy 4. <laughs> then we have Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 1. I just got a Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered. So that actually might be the best way to play 4, but I like that, this one because it has the after years. Death Jam Fight for New York, the takeover. This game is dope. Dragon Ball Evolution. This game is okay fighter, but the graphics and stuff like that, trash. Prime of the Rapper, the classic return. This game right here, dope. But you guys, I'm collecting the dual packs. So if anybody knows, there's like nine of them. These are the ones I have. The uh, Patapan and Loco Roco. Logan Siphon Filter and Kill Zone. Hot Shot Golf and Hot Shot Tennis. This one's sealed as well. And that was like two bucks, I think. And then um, Secret Agent Clank and Dexter. So yeah, those are the ones I have. I am looking to get a little subset of those. Then I got some, I thought I'd just share like some component AV cables. So if I ever want to play the PSP Go on the TV, I do do that. I just play it with a PS3 controller, which is pretty sweet that that works. So got these bad boys for it. Got this little UMV case. That's cool, it just opens and it just holds a whole bunch of like the old movies. You can used to be able to watch movies on the screens. Imagine watching a movie in good quality back day on the handheld. GBA tried it, but it was very pixelated and stuff. It wasn't how you really want it. Um wasn't how you wasn't how you really want it on the GBA, but the PSP nailed it. Sony always great with that, great innovation and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is my PSP collection. It's kind of small, but it's very cute. I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked any of these games. If I'm missing any hidden gems, leave it in the comments below. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.